Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at Wise Media's sixth EMEA Summit in Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by Bill Parnell, who is CEO of Data Logic. Bill, thank you for joining me again. Always a pleasure. Um, and again, you're on the CEO Vision Panel this afternoon. Yes. What is your What is your remit for this afternoon? I'll be talking uh, primarily about imaging, mm -hmm. uh, in the sense that uh, it can be used all the way through the retail retail supply chain. Uh, in particular, I'll focus on the point of sale, which is is a, a bit of an unusual place to focus, mm -hmm. but we have some new technology coming onto the market uh, that involves automated checkout. Okay. Um, so it's, it's an application where you can put your items onto a moving conveyor, uh, as you do elsewhere in the world today, mm -hmm. but it'll go through a portal, a scan portal, if you will, and uh, it will read the barcode or recognize the item just based on the graphics uh, of the item itself. Uh, is to really speed up the throughput, the, uh, the wait times at the point of sale. Yeah. So it's something that we think will be uh, quite evolutionary, uh, revolution, I'm sorry, and, um, and should really you know, show up around the world, tier one retail, yeah. uh, throughout the course of this next year. Okay, so that's going to be deployed pretty quick. And it seems to be pushing the focus onto the, onto the shopper rather than the, rather than the store and the systems, which as a consumer seems like it's good true. news to me. It's true, it's, uh, it's really all about the shopping experience. You know, there's a, a bit of a war going on between the online retailers and the, and the traditional brick and mortar yeah. retailers. Uh, so you see a, a lot of the, the uh, brick and mortar retailers going online, uh, but you know, they see their shops being used almost like a showroom, uh -huh. and, and people uh, then going home and, and finishing their shopping online, having it delivered to their home. Uh, so this is a way to, to make sure the shopping experience in the store is, is a positive one. Mm. People like to shop, but they don't like to get to the uh, point of sale and, and wait in line. Yeah. Uh, so the idea is to really speed that up, uh, improve customer satisfaction, uh, but also be a, you know, more productive, more efficient front end. Yeah, yeah. And there's, there's, there's that constant um, divide, that constant competition between uh, e-retail and, and, and as, you, as you refer to the, the bricks and mortar retailers. Do you think what we're driving towards is a hybrid solution rather than rather than a winner and a loser? I, I think so. I, you know, for the most part, uh, brick and mortar retailers who don't provide an online experience uh, may not be here five or 10 years mm. from now. It's, it's really that important. And at the same time, the online retailers have to provide some kind of, of uh, tangible showroom. And so you see uh, retailers like Amazon and, and others starting to, to go to a real you know, live store environment. Um, eBay is doing the same thing, right. and, and so they're kind of moving toward each other. Yeah. Uh, but, but basically a hybrid solution. Yeah. Yes. And do you think that'll come through through evolution of those businesses, or do you think we're going to see some massive M and A activity in that in that sphere? Yeah. Uh, I, I would imagine we'll see both. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. Uh, it, the M&A is just a quicker way to get to the same yeah. endpoint, yeah. so yeah. I, I would imagine. Okay, and in terms of you know um, image recognition, all those kind of things, they're enabling technologies. Are we in a point in the industry where technology is driving what we do, or, or is it really the, the demand of the shopper, consumer, citizen that's driving our... our you know, it's, it's still all about solving real customer problems. Right. So. What's happened is that the technology has finally evolved to the point where it's economically mm. viable or commercially viable uh, to provide a, a great solution. Uh, so imaging, for example, with the, the low-cost, uh, high-speed processors, um, sensors that are, that are high performance, the illumination technology right. is advanced to the point where, you know, for a fairly uh, low price point, you can offer a solution uh, that, that solves problems retailers have had for years and years, yeah. uh, where laser scanners can't read uh, 2D barcodes. 2D barcodes have been around a long time, but, but lasers don't do a good job of reading those. Uh, barcodes on cell phones, same thing. Yeah. Lasers can't read them because of the reflective surface. So all of the technology has, has uh, come into being now to, to provide a, a good, timely solution yeah. to some, some problems that have been around uh, okay. for years. And, and those being those being at a reasonable, a reasonable price and economic, does that mean as a cost per transaction, or does that mean an infrastructure cost that even a smaller retailer can afford? Uh, you know, it's a bit of both. Uh, you know, there there are mom and pop solutions now that, that make perfect sense, uh, so that, that uh, the small stores can can make good use of all the same technologies. So, 
uh, it's a different uh, software package, yeah. uh, and we still need solution providers to customize uh, the, the solutions. But um, yeah, really, the world is not so different if you think about you know, everything being marked with barcodes. Mm. The the uh, advent of RFID in retail is is something that's starting to happen, but there's no reason why image-based solutions mm. can't be integrated with RFID yeah. solutions yeah. at the point of sale. So. Uh, everything is becoming very connected. Yeah, and it's important that that happens in a way that, that is, is kind of leveling, so the big retailer can afford it, but the, the high street retailer can afford it, and also the very developed cities and regions can afford it, but also you know, perhaps some of the more rural communities in, in the developing countries. Absolutely, that, that's true. You know, one of the trends right now is that the, the big box retailers are, are kind of slowing down a little bit. The growth rate isn't so uh -huh. high. Uh, and a lot of them are moving to smaller format stores. Right. Uh, so we've seen that in the last two or three years. It, it will be more of a community feeling to, to the shopping experience, but still, they, they need to make their way through the yeah. store in, in an orderly, quick fashion, yeah. Yeah. be able to get information. They can scan a QR code or, yeah. or whatever to get more information about the item, but uh, yeah, the technology has evolved to the point where it's, it's really uh, taking care of a lot of issues that have yeah. been around for quite some time. Yeah. Exciting times, exciting yeah. times for the, the technology producers like yourself. Absolutely. Bill, thanks for stopping by. Sure. Look forward to the session this afternoon. And Pleasure as well. Thank you.